environment is our surrounding. It has living and non-living things. It includes the air, water, weather, plants, animals and soil around us. All the needs of living things are fulfilled by the environment. We get food, water, air, shelter and almost everything that we need from our environment. So it is our duty to keep it clean. Of all the living organisms, human beings are responsible for polluting the environment. When the air, water and soil around us are not pure and clean, and are unfit for human use, they are said to be polluted. Environmental pollution is defined as any undesirable change in physical, chemical and biological characteristics of air, land and water. Pollution can be natural or man-made. The agents or substances that cause pollution are known as pollutants. There are four types of pollution. Water pollution, land pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, water pollution. Factories, power plants and oil wells discharge their pollutants directly into the water bodies. These pollutants come from various sources and are dumped into the water. Factory sources can be controlled easily because these are coming from one source. Pollutants or effluents must be treated before these are dumped into the water bodies. Diseases caused by polluted water are typhoid, cholera, dysentery, jaundice, etc. Do you know? 5th June is celebrated as World's Environment Day. Amazing fact! 40% of our municipal garbage is made up of kitchen and garden wastes. Land pollution Dumping of garbage, plastics and other wastes in the open places pollutes the soil. Excessive use of chemicals such as pesticides, insecticides and fertilizers also pollute the soil. We should throw the waste materials only in dustbins. We should reduce the use of plastics and chemicals which pollute the soil. Air pollution Natural sources of air pollution are forest fires, dust storms, volcanoes and decaying organic matter. Other causes of air pollution are deforestation, urbanization and industrialization. Automobiles and burning of fuels like petrol, diesel, kerosene, wood, etc. also lead to air pollution. Diseases caused by air pollution are asthma, lung cancer, bronchitis, etc. As controlling air pollution is nearly an impossible task, we can at least reduce air pollution to some extent by following some very simple habits. They are as follows. We can go to school by cycle if it is possible and avoid cars. Carpooling also helps in controlling air pollution. Use public transport. We can carry more people to reduce the number of vehicles on the road. Use tall chimneys in factories to avoid smoke. Avoid sudden acceleration and sudden braking while driving a vehicle. Do not burn any waste material, especially plastics. Will you feel irritated if loud music is played next to you? Yes, of course. Any unpleasant or disturbing sound is called noise. Noise pollution is caused when the sounds around us become loud and irritating. Vehicle horns being blown, airplanes passing overhead and trains running nearby cause noise pollution. Any sound that is above the range of 80 to 90 decibels is harmful for us. Noise pollution is caused by loud music, horn blowing, loudspeakers and firecrackers. Factories nearby also cause noise pollution. Noise pollution can have an adverse effect on blood pressure. It can cause sleeplessness. It can also cause stress, irritation and damage to hearing particularly among old people. Waste Items or things which we do not need and discard are called waste. The huge accumulation of waste 
due to its improper disposal results in poor human health and also causes pollution there are many sources of waste they are discussed in detail below fruits and vegetable peel paper leftover food plastic sewage old clothes bottles old broken furniture electronic items etc are all domestic waste chemicals paints oils metals acids fiber residues paper scraps toxic effluents old machines etc come under industrial wastes food waste plastic bottles cans electrical items waste paper polythene wrappers etc are commercial waste husks straws corn stalks irrigation water containing pesticides and insecticides etc are waste produced from agricultural activities pollutants are generally classified into two main groups biodegradable and non biodegradable waste management waste management means the collection transport processing or disposal managing and monitoring of waste materials to minimize it consequences on humans and environment the following are some methods of disposing waste waste are dumped in deep ditches dug in the ground and are then covered with soil these are usually done far away from residential areas waste is collected and burned in a furnace at very high temperature incinerators convert waste materials into heat gas and ash waste materials are dumped in open areas or grounds away from the city and left to decompose this method is harmful for humans and the environment collecting all biodegradable waste burying in a small pit or bin leaving it to decay and turn into useful manure it is a natural and safe waste disposal system conservation of the environment protection of the environment is the need of the hour we must save our environment to save the existence of human kind we should adopt an environment friendly lifestyle let us consider some ways to conserve the environment plant more and more trees stop deforestation practice rainwater harvesting do not misuse natural resources use solar cells do not waste electricity use public transport do not throw garbage in the open stop polluting water do not use plastic bags use jute bags use eco friendly fuels and goods protecting our environment the most effective way of protecting the environment is by following the 3 r's these are reduce recycle and reuse reducing is to acquire or buy only what we can use to the fullest recycling is a way by which waste material is processed and make something new reusing is to make something useful in a different way such as using newspaper as wrappers let us summarize our environment consists of both living and non living things Pollution is the addition of harmful substances into the environment. The substances that caused pollution are called pollutants. There are four types of pollution: water, air, land and noise pollution. E-waste are the discarded electronic material. Waste can be from many sources. such as household industrial commercial agricultural etc complete waste management is very important for proper disposal of the waste to conserve and protect our environment we should follow the 3 r's reduce recycle and reuse 